right, you guys, I have been keeping a secret for a couple days now. April 25th, 2018 was the very first day that I ever posted a video on YouTube. It was actually a video of me and Alex going fishing. And that was kind of the start of my YouTube channel. Then I gave magnet fishing a shot and I absolutely fell in love with it. Now we fast forward five years later, you guys, and I have finally bought my first home. And it's a farm. It was actually being sold as an estate sale. So there was all kinds of stuff that came with it, like this trailer. I am so pumped are beyond excited you guys i've went through all the emotions up and down i finally own a home and i have you guys to thank for it i would not have this place if it wasn't for you guys you guys have completely changed mine and owen's life and i can i can't thank you enough i just can't i'm gonna take you on a quick walk through here i got a couple different sheds i got a barn here you guys gotta let me know if i should start another channel for like farm stuff because i do plan on getting like chickens and who knows what else we're gonna have some fun out here and I also have five acres, you guys, so we have some room to play. It's definitely a fixer-upper place. It's not super new. It's not super nice. But I think that's what I want. I want me something that I can fix up, something that I can work on. And now I finally have a place to hang up my magnet fishing finds. Not to mention, I'll also be able to turn one of these into a complete restoration shop. And I should be able to start doing restoration videos regularly with our magnet fishing videos. So let's go take a look at this place, you guys. I have the entire inside of the house completely torn up right now. I'm putting in new flooring. We just painted, trying to make it a little more homey. So let's go check this place out, you guys. First of all, like I said, this was an estate sale. I believe the owners died and their kids actually ended up selling this place for them. And they ended up leaving this trailer here. Look at this thing. This is like the perfect scrap trailer, is it not? Probably needs some new boards, maybe some grease on the bearings, but this thing still rolls, you guys. This is the perfect scrap cart. Now, if you take a look over this way, we got a little wood shed here. A lot of this is starting to tip, you can tell. But we got a big old barn here, which is still in decent shape. Then I got a big old silo, and that is my garage over there. Now, I also have a couple sheds over here. I'm gonna take you guys inside this shed. First of all, we'll sneak in here, got the old hooping ring. This shed here is totally falling down, you guys. I don't even know what I'll do with this one. I could probably keep my boat in here, honestly. Boom! Wimpy's Casino. This place must have been popping back in the day. You guys got to check this out. Let's go inside. Check this place out, you guys. There's a wood burner in here. This here's actually an old record player. Check this thing out. I've never seen anything like this, but I'm sure some of you guys have. This thing is super cool, man. But, 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 up, but, 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 what do we got on there? Plenty of Pete by Pete Fountain. The old jazz music. It's pretty crazy. They actually still have a bunch of pictures on the wall here. I'm assuming this is one of the original owners himself. And then right here, these are some pictures of what this shop used to look like, you guys. This fridge and this stove is that fridge and that stove right there. So pretty crazy, man. Just unbelievable to see all this stuff still here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this room yet, you guys. We might turn this into like our restoration shop and like our hanging stuff on the wall shop. Cause look at, he's already got like hooks and stuff. We could take all of our magnet fishing finds and just line all of these walls. I think it would look super cool in here. Then if we go past the old Wimpy's Casino, we can scoot through between the barns here. We're gonna check out the inside of this bad boy. Now this one here is definitely falling apart, you guys. You can see like the roof is kind of bowing in. Not exactly sure what I could do with this one. Right now, my dad's got his boat in here, but I could do all kinds of stuff with this. It really is starting to fall apart, but it's not a bad spot space. They got these big old, I think these are like water tubs in here, probably for back on the farm back in the day. Now we're going to go check out the barn, you guys. This thing's pretty crazy. We got the big old sliding barn doors. Let's go in here and take a peek. Now this one really is not in that bad of shape, you guys. Again, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with all this space. A lot of it needs to be cleaned up, but like maybe we could keep chickens in here. I could even get a flipping pig. We could do some fun stuff. There's even uh, like a second floor up here and you guys are gonna get a sneak peek. I've actually never looked up there like that, like this. Holy cow, what is that, hay? I can't even tell. <laughs> Holy cow. 
Oh, can I see? Oh, there we go. Wow, super crazy. Pretty cool in here, you guys. They still have like a lot of old toys from back in the day. Like, look at this. What is that? The old Play-Doh Plus, boy. Doop, look at this here. We got the old RC car battery pack. All kinds of old toys in here, you guys. I'm sure there was probably tons of memories made in this place. I believe this place was built in the 1940s. And it's still holding up pretty good, you guys. I think this was like, uh, what do they call it? Like the little milk room of the barn here. Super crazy, man. And then right here, you can see somebody backed into this wall. So that kind of sucks. Like I said, it's definitely a fixer upper. Nothing super too crazy nice, but hey, it's my own. Don't... Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Holy cow, we got a shoe on the property. Comes with the house. And last but not least, I want to show you guys the house itself. Check it out. We've already torn up like the entire floor. This place is destroyed on the inside. Check it out. Here we go in the front door. First things first, I'll uh, take you guys straight downstairs here. I'm replacing all this carpet and everything, you guys. We're going to just get rid of it. Check it out. Not a bad basement for starters. This right here, I think, is the old chimney. So, like, I think you would load wood or whatever you'd put in there and this would be the chimney that's pretty cool and back in the day i think that's what they used to heat their house now you got this big old sucker not a bad basement though at all you guys almost kind of reminds me of a cellar i kind of gotta duck my head a little bit but overall it's really not too bad got a couple rooms over here i don't know what the heck these rooms are for i'm sure back in the day it was probably maybe food storage for the farm not too sure but there is two of these suckers in here Ooh, that one's got shelves. All right, that's enough of the basement. Not too exciting. Back up the stairs we go. All right, let's go check out the kitchen here, you guys. Now this, we have absolutely completely torn up. This here is the original farm wood floor. We tore up all the flooring, you guys. We're gonna put some new stuff in. It should look pretty nice in here. All the walls were originally white. I'm going with gray, and I think we're gonna do like white around the boards at the bottom. Not a super massive kitchen, but you can do some cooking in here. Here. Now, the one thing I do got to get is a different countertop section here so that I can fit a dishwasher because I hate washing dishes by hand. Now, as we come this way into the living room area here, when we ripped up the floor, there was actually a big dip in the floor. So we had to fill it in with like some clay putty stuff. And once this is all said and done, let me show you guys the floor panels over here that I'm going with. Boom, these bad boys, we got the life proof. And we're going with this color. So if you can kind of imagine that flooring with this wall color, I think it should look pretty good, you guys. And the crazy part is I've never done any of this stuff by myself, but I'm trying to figure it out. So far, everything that I've done and everything that I've learned, I've pretty much just watched a YouTube video for. It's insane the things you can find on YouTube. Now, coming into the hallway here, we got the upstairs, which I'm not a big fan of the upstairs. It's pretty small. And the bathroom is pretty small also. Take a peek in here. We got to get a lot of this stuff changed out. New counters, new mirror. Then over here, we have what I think is actually going to be Owen's room. Not too super big. Got a little closet there. Then if you come over this way, I think this is going to be Owen's gaming room or something like that. Now, if you come this way, we go up the stairs here. This is going to be probably uh, my area or my room. Now, this is not my favorite part of the house, specifically because of these ceilings here that are slanted. I really don't like that, especially being tall. Like, look at, bonk, you just hit that sucker. Now, can you imagine if you had like a bed in the middle of the room or something, you're gonna hit your head on that thing every time. Not a bad room here, you guys. This might end up being like my computer slash work area. I'm not sure. And then I might end up putting my bed somewhere over here we're gonna paint everything up here the same color i think is downstairs the same gray slowly but surely this is all coming together you guys and eventually i'll have myself a little house here i almost forgot you guys let's check out the inside of this silo it's pretty crazy you can actually see up in here i don't know if you guys have ever seen inside of one before but check this out i think this is where they kept grain and stuff like that 
Pretty cool, man. A lot of junk in there now. Now, last but not least, you guys, I almost forgot to show you the garage here. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Now, this isn't the biggest garage, but it's in decent condition. We got some shelving over here. I know that'll be good for some of our magnet fishing stuff. Looks like this wall doesn't have any drywall on it like the rest of them. I don't know what's going on with that. But overall, not a bad garage, you guys. Now, this is pretty cool, you guys. Check this out. I actually have a couple different apple trees on my property. And they're actual edible apples. They're not like crab apples or whatever those are called. Let me see if I can find some. Yep, right here. Look at this. There's actually deer poop here, which means that the deer are definitely coming out here. And check this out. He's even got like a tree stand here. Where is it? Right over here. We could climb up in that sucker and hunt from the backyard. Definitely not a dream house, you guys, but I am in love with this place. It's my first home. I'm going to try and spice it up, paint it up, make it mine. Now, like I said, I would like to keep you guys updated on all of the updates and all of the stuff that I do at the farm here. But you guys got to let me know. I think I should definitely start another channel for that because I don't want to just turn the magnet fishing channel into farm stuff. And speaking of magnet fishing, I have tons of videos coming, you guys. I have been absolutely busting my butt out on the water this summer. I've got at least 20 to 30 magnet fishing videos that you guys have never seen yet, and they should all be coming before Christmas. So put your seatbelts on. We got some magnet fishing coming. All right, you guys, I got tons of work to do on this house here because I only have a couple weeks to move out of my apartment and into this place and I still got tons of work to do here before I can even move in. So I'm gonna get out of here you guys. I'm gonna go do some work on this house. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and get the heck out of here. If you guys like the farm, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the